Hello YouTube, this is Dr. Ryan Way coming back uh, with another video. And in my last video, I talked about how to spin gems in the game. But then I really didn't mention, you know, what if you want to buy gems? What's different? Or what should you do? And it just hit seven. So now I got all this stuff. I'll do that later. Uh, maybe I'll show it at the end. If you're going to spend money, the thing is to get the best value with, with the amount of money that you're going to spend and how to turn what you're getting into additional value. I learned that, learned how to use, you do that through Rise of Kingdoms. Don't get me started on that game. You got to really be smart with how you move, move with your money. But this game is a little bit easier. I think... Let's see, how do I want to do this? Again, off the cuff, this is just like, damn, I forgot to mention this type thing. So, like with any any game, no, not event, I'll show you that later, with like any game, you know, they have some type of premium currency, whatever. I did, you know, the, the calculations or whatever. I wish I had that screen up. I'm tweaking with these videos, you know. I'm not really going to buy gems outright because there's better ways to get value. I don't, I, here's a way to get value right here. You see, I put my fucking $5 in. The easiest way to get value and the most value you're going to get is through the Dragon Pack. It encourages you to play the game every day, and that's why you're getting value because you're playing their product every day. So they're going to give you rewards for that. 300 gems instantly. I mean, that's already worth the 5 bucks according to the gem amount. Boom. But then 30 gems every day. So 900 gems. 1,200 total. Once it's all said and done. An extra work. Two max arena tickets. 20% gold production. And some people, I think, really underestimate how much 20% in two tickets will do, you know, with your money. If you plan, you know, it takes one hour to generate one ticket. Every time you win, a win that's 40, you know, coins in the arena you lose it's still 20 coins um and that'll have those extra tickets that help you get up to the higher tiers faster and you'll get more daily rewards for coins uh and gems later so spending this with the tickets you know gives you more gems inherently because you're going to be higher you know if, if you play obviously this is if you play you know, you'll get, and if you're spending money, why wouldn't you, why wouldn't you fucking play? <laughs> and then you'll get 20% gold production, which is huge. Like, you have to be careful again. Like I said in the other video, you can only have ever so much. You can only, you know, have ever so much gold in here before 40k for, for this particular level habitat before you can, uh, before it won't collect anymore. So... With that percentage, you got to be careful. Like, again, you're rewarded for being active. But if you play every day, like I play every day for a, at least actively, at least maybe an hour a day. And most of the time, I just have it up and I'm just clicking buttons, collect, running the farm, you know. Uh, you, 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 and then because I'm doing that, you get a little extra go. I think if you clocked in every three to four hours, Maybe even five hours would probably be okay. You'll over, you know, you'll lose a little bit of gold, but every five hours, you, you, you'll you'll be fine. Uh, special offers are okay, I think, um, because they'll give you the gems and some type of extra thing. I've never bought any of these. I'm not spending fifty bucks. That that's not me. I'm I'm a low, low to mid spender. I think this can be okay. You can turn these ores into some pretty good value but you can get these ores for free like let's say there's something in the shop with a and i now would have to get into brands you would have to know what position brand and which brand that you want and what effect it's it's a hit or miss type thing but these things can 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 really give you some value if, if you can get lucky with it uh i'm just going through these it, this isn't any particular order the dragon pack is the number one thing they, there ain't nothing better than that. Um, ain't, ain't nothing better than that, funny as hell. Okay, and then with the breeding pack, this is a special event. And like 
if you're trying to get the legendary for the event, by all means, spend the $20. If you care about that legendary dragon for the breeding event, or if you just care about the epic in general, you're probably going to spend way more money trying to get the gems to get it in the summoners uh, thing anyway. So gems plus the egg and a little bit of food, fine. You know, I definitely bought plow. I already had fairy because you get them for purchasing anything. Definitely bought plow. All right, that's pretty much that. Special offers, I really, like I say, just the ore. Gems, don't do it. Just special offer. If you're spending, you know, more than, I don't know what, I don't recommend in spending more than, you know, the weekly limit on a phone game. You know, you can spend a little bit, support the developer. That's what it's all about. So you can get more content. But as far as breaking the bank, that ain't, that ain't something that I would recommend doing as, as your loose financial advisor. The piggy bank, I'm not gonna lie, I bought this a couple of times. If you, three dollars for 400 gems actually is, is pretty good. It's like 120 gems per dollar versus, uh, I think like 100, yeah, like 120 or 100 and something gems, 150 gems per dollar. Uh, I should be able to do the math because I got an actuarial science degree, but fuck all the bullshit, I ain't gonna do that now. I was terrible at arithmetic. Okay, a probability statistics terrible at arithmetic. Uh, let's claim this stuff real quick. Um, let's see, where else can you spend gems? This thing is kind of new. So, and you do get a lot of stuff out of it. Um, you can you get you can do the free track, and that's totally fine if you do. You they kind of design these in a way where you kind of need to get the upgraded version and get all the way through. Maybe it's possible by if you like do everything, but some of these things are kind of hard to do. Uh, like some of the dragon, you got to get enough, you know, things to do. I guess if you wanted to focus on that for your breeding and getting the shards or whatever, I, I guess, but uh, some of these are kind of hard to do. So, uh, I think it's best if you purchase it. I don't know if I can show you because I've already purchased it, but it's 10 bucks to just get the bottom tier unlocked and then 20 bucks if you want to go 30 tiers above. You don't have to do the 30 tiers. I, I think just getting the bottom and maybe getting to like 70 is fine. You know, my 100 minus, you know, minus the 30 tiers, you got the 70. I think that would be fine. Because that would still allow you to get 60 of these guys. And that's enough to get one star on them. So that's not bad. Plus you get Siren fully as an egg for purchase in the past as well. And then some of these rewards are pretty good, uh, in my opinion. Especially uh, the, the Dragon Brands. 10 bucks, I would say it's worth it. 20 bucks if you just don't want to wait. That's what you're paying the other 20 bucks for because you don't want to wait as long. I think that's okay. You know, it's a good way to spend your money. And then you get uh, some some gems out of it. Like I say, these dragon brands are like bitching good. Are really, really good. Um, and then you already know from my last video how I feel about the crystals and how hard the dusk and dawn crystals are. So you get a little bit of those. And you get a little, uh, some of the other crystals as well. You get and these things. You get everything in this thing. Take some time, you know, it, you get, you know, over a course of a month, month or two get those things I think that's the second best thing you can really get third best thing would be uh, some of these packs especially if it's a breed event if you care about that uh, I really wouldn't be able to say how good some of these other packs are because I just don't recommend spending that amount of money on a phone game but if you do somebody tell me in the comments how good these would be i'm not spending more than you know 30 bucks a month on this game it, it, you know i'm just not this thing is okay i, I like this little guys you know three dollars pull out the credit card right quick wallet warrior that thing it's okay good gym value 400 gems for three, so you know, four to three. I'm let me do the ratio right quick. It's 300 gems, 100% increase. That's like 
33% more gems per the dollar. I don't fucking know. I don't know why I'm drawing a blank on that. Probably because I'm talking. But those are the things that you can buy gems. Like how to buy the gems. Those are the best things. Again, and I repeat. Another time. Do not get these. They're, they're trash. Because you get those same amount of gems plus something else in these other ones. But if you plan on wasting a little bit of your money, or I wouldn't call it a waste, I really enjoy giving the developers some a little bit of financial support so they can release more content. You know, sometimes some people, developers, get a little hungry, but that's not really developers, more so than the publishers and you know, kind of like the big wig guys. But I think this game rewards you for playing quite a bit more than a lot of other games, and you can totally get legendaries for free, which are... Not every legendary, but a lot of the legendaries are breedable and very, very, very solid. Some of them are top tier too, top tier legendary. I'll show you a few. This isn't what the video is about, but Nyx, Supreme Damage Dealer. Squishy side, you gotta protect them, but Nyx, good damage. These two, this, this guy right here, I hate fighting against him, but I love using him. Stun Master, what you talking about? And then this guy, he buffs up the team. These are all, I think, in my opinion, some top tier. Those three I just mentioned are like top tier. I should have named the video top tier. You know, that's my next video. Top tier uh, dragons to, to consider. But that's the video. Gems, a little bit of top tier. Let my personality come out through the video. And hopefully this helps you spin your gems and buy your gems like a Master Tame.